Hello everybody, it's Elena and in today's video we are building this pretty big family house in the world of Oasis Springs in The Sims 4, obviously. So this house was built on a 20 by 30 lot and with the way that I decorated it, you can fit a total of 6 Sims into it. So it has 4 bedrooms and 3 bathrooms, but I did also do like a home office so you can definitely turn that room into a fifth bedroom and by doing that you can obviously fit more sims into this house but with the way that i decorated it you can fit six sims into it and i was kind of thinking that multiple generations live here because on the first floor i've got two bedrooms and then on the second floor we've got like two other bedrooms and then like the two bedrooms on the first floor like one of them is for an infant and then the other one could possibly be for like one or two grandparents i didn't really like have a story in mind for the sims that live in this house so i don't really know who who lives in that bedroom but it definitely could be two or one grandparents and that would definitely be super cute but then on the second floor we've got like the main bedroom for the two parents and then there's also a bedroom for a kid so yeah that's like six ish sims in total but yeah i really had a lot of fun building this house and i just i really have been enjoying building in oasis springs recently i did that well in like a video that i posted last week or something like that and this is my second one that i've done in quite a long time so I, I really made it sound like I've been doing a lot of it recently but this is my my second one in a very long time so yeah anyway whatever <laughs> so when I was building this house I didn't really like have much of an idea in mind for like of what I wanted the theme to be and I didn't like feel inspired by anything in particular I guess I just like wanted to build a like upper class suburban house in Oasis Springs and that is just kind of like what I started doing but then when I got like further into you know the process of building this house it kind of started to remind me of these like upper class suburban houses that i've seen on pictures from california so i guess i just like decided to lean into that and then the rest of the house like the part that i did after coming to that realization is inspired by like californian houses so i think i'm gonna title this video like californian something house and, and yeah i don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna title it, but something with California in the title because this is inspired by those kinds of houses, if you know what I mean by that. Yeah, anyway, but I had a lot of fun making it and I just wanted to build like a super basic and nice and just cozy, comfy family house in The Sims and I just, I, I enjoyed it a lot. So I hope you all like it as well. And also before we get too far into the video, I would also just like to inform those of you who are watching it right as it goes up or within the first few days of it being live and whatever that i am currently out of town so i won't be able to post this house on the gallery for a few days so if you are you know looking to download it and whatnot it will be up there very soon but just not like today or the next day or something because i am i'm not home right now and i do have to be home and like right by my computer to be able to upload houses to the gallery and i have like a desktop so i can't just bring it with me wherever i go but yeah it will be up on the gallery so if you are like looking at my gallery page trying to find this house it's just because i am not home so i haven't been able to post it yet but it will be out there super soon so don't worry about it just have a little bit of patience i guess <laughs> but yeah anyway i do like sometimes get comments like right as i post a video and people are saying like i can't find this house on the gallery and whatnot and it's just because i've forgotten to post it and i, I really appreciate that you guys like sometimes remind me to post it because i do have a tendency to forget to like do that right as i've posted a video and especially like sometimes if i'm not like right by my computer and i've scheduled the upload on youtube i like really just forget to post the house on the gallery so i do appreciate when you guys just like give me a little reminder in the comment section but in this case it's not because i've forgotten it's just that i am not able to post it right now but it will be up in a few days i can't tell you exactly when it will be up because i don't know when my trip is ending and i'm coming home and i also don't know when i'm posting this video but yeah you know soon <laughs> that's just what i wanted to say but okay i have a story that i really want to tell you all in this video that i'm really excited to tell because it's funny and like weird and whatever but i'm just trying to think of like what else i need to say about this house before we move on to doing that i don't think i really have much else to say because like it's just a, a family house and as i mentioned i didn't really think of a story for these sims that live here so i can't tell you that one and i don't know the the inside is really big in my opinion you know it does have those four slash five bedrooms if you count the office and then there are two 
living rooms and a big kitchen with a dining room in it and a big garage and it's just a nice house i really like it and the backyard is like reasonably sized i suppose it's not super big because this is a 20 by 30 lot it's not huge but it does have a pool in the backyard which is nice and then there's like a decently sized patio and just a little swing set on a green area so it's a nice little house i like it and i hope you all like it as well Anyway though, that is all I think I have to say about the build for now at least, so story time. <laughs> but yeah, so this story will be about a person whom I know in real life and I think she's like the most fascinating person of all time. I think she's so interesting and I feel very like conflicted on how to feel about her and like my thoughts on her because on one hand i think she's a really horrible person and i really don't like what she does and like what she has done and what not and i think she's like really horrible in that way but on the other hand i think she's incredibly hilarious and really cool and an icon so i don't really know how do i feel about this person i don't know but i think like she's she's a really messy person i guess that's just like what i have to tell you right off the bat and she's also in her mid-ish 70s right now i think she might have just turned 74 recently and she lives right next door to me she's my neighbor and i work for her i clean her house and i also like cats sit for her when that is necessary and i just like help her out with a few different things around the house once in a while when she needs me because you know she is elderly so she needs some help and support once in a while and i just you know help her out with that and i've known her for a very very long time i guess she's like sort of a family friend like not really you know a close family friend but she is our neighbor and we've just like known her for a very very long time so i do know her pretty well and i think she is the most messy person ever so i guess a story that i can tell you that just sort of like sums up her and her personality really really well before we talk about like the other stuff about her is that in december of 2021 her husband of 50 something years sadly passed away and within the same week that that happened she broke up with her boyfriend and she also asked my dad if he could help her set up a new dating profile so, you know, right off the bat, girl boss, right? <laughs> That's just so funny to me. Like, what? Who does that? Who breaks up with her boyfriend the same week that her husband passes away? I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that because, like, on one hand, that's just so insane to me. Like, how? How does that even happen? And also, like, was that a, you know, trauma response to her husband passing away that she, like, just felt the need to break up with her boyfriend? I don't really know. But I guess the answer to that little question might s sort of, in a way, appear later on in the story that I'm about to tell you. I don't really know. But yeah. I think that's so crazy and it just like sums her up perfectly because she's kind of crazy like that. She's she's wild. Yeah. Anyway, she's an icon, obviously. <laughs> but since I work for her, I do talk to her quite a bit. And this woman, she is quite the oversharer. Like if she's got something going on, everyone is gonna know about it, okay? She like tells Facebook everything and she tells me everything when I, you know, go work for her and whatever. And she also like tells my parents a lot of like the drama that's going on in her life. And one thing thing about me i like gossip a lot i really i can't help it it's just so fun but my favorite kind of gossip is the kind that elderly people have to say because old people they have the most outrageous things to say about each other and it's so funny and i just really really like it when they sit there and like talk about their friends and like what they said and i just think that's so wild because prior to me like realizing that i really really like elderly people and their gossip i just kind of like assumed that old people lived these super peaceful little lives with no drama and no nothing going on like they just you know went to bridge and pet their cats and had a fun walk once in a while and stuff like that like they just live these like super peaceful and calm lives that's what i assumed about elderly people but now i have realized that that is definitely not the case for a lot of old people and i absolutely love it when my grandparents they just like tell me all about their like friends and like the gossip surrounding them and the drama that's going on in their friend group and my grandma she talks sometimes about like her sister and how messy of a person she is and it's just so funny they have the most crazy and outrageous things to say about each other okay and my neighbor the woman that i'm you know talking about in a way is just like the type who tells everyone about everything and i just i think that's so funny so whenever i'm like in there and cleaning for her she tells me all of the like updates and the details about the drama that's going on and i think it's so good right but i guess the whole thing about like her 
gossiping a lot and whatnot is not really relevant to what i want to tell you right now because i think i just want to give you a little bit of context for the story like the first thing that i told you about her like the thing about her breaking up with her boyfriend the same week that her husband passed away because i feel like that story needs a bit of you know context <laughs> because that's kind of wild and crazy but this woman's husband is or i guess was <laughs> he's not really here anymore but yeah he was 20 something years older than her i think like maybe 21 or 19 19, like around 20 you know and he was quite a lot older than her obviously and they got together when she was really really young like 19 or 20 which just let me just say that is absolutely terrifying i am currently 19 about to be 20 in a month and the thought of like even looking at a 40 year old man Ooh, so terrifying i'm like cringing just at the thought of that so marrying one and like living with one no thank you that is oh no thank you <laughs> it's just so terrifying but since the age difference between these two people was so big they obviously were in such vastly different stages of their lives so this man he was like in his 40s and he had two or three kids from a previous relationship i don't know how old they were at the time but like i think teenagers or something they were kind of old and he had like a pretty good career he had a steady income and he was kind of well off like not super rich or anything but he had money and she on the other hand was you know 19 20 ish and she had an infant because she had a baby when she was 18 so she was just like a single young mom trying to make it in this scary scary world and then she met this man and he probably let's be honest groomed her into you know marrying him and moving to a completely different country and he was like yeah if you move in with me and get married you don't have to work at all ever and i can just take care of you guys and it'll be fun and you'll have a good life and whatnot because another thing is this woman has never worked a day in her life which is fine like whatever that's if that's like what is good for you and like if that's possible for you to do then okay whatever but it kind of like bothers me a bit because she has just like made some comments to me when i have like worked for her and whatnot so i don't know that's not something i want to talk about right now because it's not really you know relevant or anything but she has just like said some kind of stupid and i guess ignorant things to me about like how i do my job and whatever at her house but like you've never had a job in your life like you don't know what that's like okay anyway i feel like the way that i'm telling this story is so messy so i do apologize that i'm just like jumping around from all these different times and from different stories from her life and whatnot i'm really sorry if it's super confusing i just i'm just you know trying to put my thoughts into words i guess yeah that's just what i'm doing right now <laughs> but yeah anyway so the two of them got married and her and her little baby moved to you know a different country and they like lived their lives here and she never really like did anything she never had a job she never got an education or anything like that and the thing about like doing that like getting with someone who's more wealthy than you and they like you know have a job and can like provide for you and whatnot that's a thing you have to be very very careful with because in most situations that is gonna trap you and it's gonna make you like unable to get out of that situation so it's really you know dangerous in a way to get into a relationship like that because she at a very very young age got into this relationship where she was basically trapped because she never like got to have an education and she just like didn't get any work experience or anything like that so i think what happened is that she sort of like started to feel very trapped and she started to like feel like she wanted to do some more stuff with her life and whatnot but then again like this is not something i can say with certainty it's just a thing that i've been speculating about i guess i don't know but then when she was in her 60s once again we're gonna just like jump in time completely but when she was in her 60s she decided to go back to school and she got her well it's like the equivalent ish of a high school diploma in but like the not really in the same way because it's it's not like the same thing at all but it's just like a thing that allows you to go to university she did that in at the age of like 60 something which is really cool and i really like commend her for doing that because that's like super hard to go back to school when you're 60 something so i think that's really really cool and then i think she also like got accepted into university but i don't think she ever went or anything like that i mean that was also be pretty pointless because she was in her 60s and she never like planned to even do anything with her education she just like wanted to get it i think probably to like prove to herself that she could do it i don't know but yeah anyway she got her education and like i think 
maybe around five-ish years ago, she got a new boyfriend. And that is the same boyfriend that she broke up with in 2021, like around Christmas time. That is that same man. And I don't really know exactly what happened because she hasn't like told all of the nitty gritty details on her relationship, surprisingly enough, because she does say a lot of stuff about her personal life. But anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of like guessing that maybe the two of them sort of just like drifted apart because, you you know they were in like such different parts of their lives like he was at this point well like when she was around 60 he was around 80 so his health started to like really deteriorate quickly where she was like quite a lot younger like she was still you know doing good and was able to just travel around and do whatever she wanted to and she definitely did travel a lot like she went to spain so often and she went to like norway to see her family and whatnot so she traveled a lot and for the most part it was without him but i'm, but I'm guessing that that they sort of like drifted apart and maybe there also like was some kind of like resentment from her towards him because he did you know sort of like trap her in this relationship and that sort of like didn't really allow her to do anything else with her life even though she probably would have been able to like do a lot of other stuff with her life if she hadn't gotten married at this young age and hadn't like you know missed out on a lot of work experience and stuff like that so i, I feel like there might have been some resentment from her side so she like got this new boyfriend and and at this point, her husband, he also, I think, started to, like, get some sort of dementia. I don't really know, like, what kind of thing it was, but, like, some sort of Alzheimer's or dementia, something like that, you know? So his personality, like, started to change and he was just not himself anymore. And I think that was maybe, like, 10-ish years ago. So I don't really know if she had, like, been with other people in between, like, this boyfriend that she got around five years ago and him like, I don't know, his health starting to deteriorate and whatnot. I don't know exactly what went down, but I do know that he got some sort of Alzheimer's and he was not himself anymore, but they were still married and I think she still, like, took care of him and just sort of, like, helped him out with stuff and whatever else. And he did also go and live in some kind of, like, care place. I don't know, <laughs> like, some, some place for him to be at where, you know, medical professionals could help him. But for, like, some years, she did also so, like help him with a lot of stuff and she did take care of him because you know they were married and whatnot but yeah i don't know i feel like at this point it just seemed to me as an outsider like she didn't want to be stuck with him anymore and she was just like finally out and about and living her life because she missed out on so many things earlier in her life so now she was like dating around and traveling a lot like just by herself and just i guess pretending that she was in her 20s again i don't know <laughs> so i guess that is sort of like the context to the first story that I told you like at the time of his death they were not married like in a relationship but they were still technically married but yeah anyway so she had this boyfriend and then they broke up like around the same time that he you know passed away but I do think that like the question or the answer to the question about like whether or not that was like a trauma response for her to break up with this boyfriend I don't think it was because I think that he was just like bothering her at this point because so <laughs> she has also told me many a times that this boyfriend let's just call him like a or something was apparently a narcissist and also a psychopath so another thing to know about her is that she's also very dramatic however i don't want to just like you know disregard her claims because i do know that that is definitely something to be taken seriously when an intimate partner says that their partner is you know a psychopath and a narcissist and whatnot it's not something i want to take lately but she is a very dramatic person <laughs> so i don't really know okay but yeah they broke up and then she was just like seeing a lot of nasty things about him but i think and well i know that they are still friends and they are still in contact because he comes around pretty frequently and one time when i was at her house cleaning he was there too and then also like one time she accidentally sent a message to me that she was supposed to send to him where she was discussing some of their like mutual friends so yeah they are still talking i just nudged my like arm rust thing so yeah anyway <laughs> but yeah they are still talking even though he apparently is a psychopath and a narcissist and whatnot i don't know but remember how i said that she asked my dad to help her set up a dating profile so she got that thing set up and within like a few weeks or something she started dating this other guy who she now sort of i think lives with in a way i think he moved in but then i think he moved out again but he's still like around 
this house like his her house <laughs> rather a lot so i don't know he he lived there for a few months but then now he doesn't but they're still in a relationship is how i've like understood it i guess so she's definitely not wasting any time she's dating a lot and listen i just i don't understand how that's happening because there must be something about her that's just like completely irresistible because she was married to this guy and then she like got with this other guy at the same time when they were married and then like right after she was widowed and right after she broke up with this guy she had gotten this new guy like soon very very soon after so i don't know there must be something very very attractive and charming about her i must be honest i don't see what it is but i i don't know that's kind of cool uh, yeah iconic honestly again once again very iconic behavior but okay that is enough about her like relationship stuff because i also have something else that i want to mention about her the gossiping thing you know but yeah so i hope that you are like picking up on how messy she is because i feel like i'm doing a pretty bad job of like i don't know getting the point across about how ruthless and crazy she is <laughs> because i really do feel like she is crazy and, and ruthless but yeah anyway Anyway, so about the whole gossiping thing she gossips a lot which i think is so cool and so fun and i love everything about it but she doesn't only like gossip about her ex-boyfriends and her friends and whatnot no 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 so the other day when i was at her house i was there with my dad and we were just like talking about some practical stuff and then she she like went on to talking about her grandkids and like her kid and because she had this like kid that she got when she was 18 she never had any kids after that but yeah she had this one he's in his 50s now because you know she had him at 18 that was a long time ago and he has three kids and i think they are like in their early 20s all of them early to mid 20s and then she she was like talking to us about how like two of these kids are just brilliant amazing hard-working beautiful people that are just so so good and kind and just just incredible people but then the third one he's lazy and he's stupid okay that is what she said about her grandkids imagine gossiping about your grandkids to your neighbors that is so messy i love it it's so weird like why would you do that <laughs> It was so funny to me. And then she said that like two of the kids, the smart ones, the good ones, took after her son and then the like dumb one the, the bad lazy kid took after his mom <laughs> and on that same day she was also talking about her like lovers and past lovers and whatnot and she was saying how like her narcissist slash psychopath ex-boyfriend she really really liked that guy because he was super smart and he was also like a like i don't know hot shot doctor with some like really high position in the doctor universe you know <laughs> wow i really know nothing but yeah he was like a really like accomplished doctor and very smart is what she said and then this other guy the boyfriend that she's now with he is just a school teacher okay that's in her words just a school teacher okay so she said to us that she really really misses having these intellectual conversations with like the old boyfriend and she doesn't really get that from this new boyfriend and mind you again like she does not have an education which <laughs> and like i think that's fine like whatever but it's just so funny to me that she's like shaming this guy this is a school teacher for not like being able to have like intellectual conversations with her like what even <laughs> it's just so funny to me and then she also said that her like husband the the one who passed away he was also like able to have these intellectual and cool and good conversations very important stuff but uh, yeah i don't know man i just think that's really really funny i just wanted to mention that and also she seems to like really be fixated on class and wealth and like status like social status and whatnot because she was also saying she was talking about like moving to another place and then she said that her friend lived there and like she's an academic so it's like cool and pretty and amazing people that live there not like bums and whatnot so yeah anyway she's very fixated on class and whatnot so that's just a little a little detail about her anyway that's i guess all i really have time to say about her i could go on about her for literal hours i have so many interesting stories to say about her i think she's the best ever and also the worst so yeah anyway i really like her but then again i also don't like her so i guess i don't really know how to feel about her but in conclusion she is a girl boss yeah that's really all i have to say about her but as i mentioned earlier on in this video i will not be posting this house on the gallery right away because i am out of town but it will be up there soon like within 
the, I don't know, within like a few days, but yeah. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and you enjoy my content. I would really, really appreciate it, but you know, you don't have to. But besides all of that, I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day. And then I cannot wait to see you all in my next video that I will be posting in just a few days. So bye everybody.